We all must have heard about Baba Banda Singh Bahadur, but how many of us have heard about their wife, Bibi Sushil Kaurji? When Baba Banda Singh Bahadur went to Chamba, the king of that place, Uday Singh, offered Baba Banda Singh Bahadur to marry his beautiful princess as she was impressed by Banda Singh Bahadur's courage, valor, and wished to join him in his fight. Baba Banda Singh Bahadur discussed it with his companions and agreed to marry her. She became baptized and got to be known as Bibi Sushil Kaurji. They had a son, and Bibi Sushil Kaur took care of that son and also served the Sikh soldiers as longer. She supported him in his mission and expressed interest in joining the battle. When Baba Banda Singh Bahadur, his son, and other Sikh soldiers were present by Mughal army, Bibi Sushil Kaur was also taken as a prisoner and, and they were all taken to Delhi. When they reached Delhi, Bibi Sushil Kaur and her son were separated from other Sikh soldiers and Banda Bahadur. Mm -hmm. Seeing her beauty, the chief wanted to marry her and she tried all different ways to convince her and convert her into Islam, but she continued to refuse. Her son was also taken away from her and, and they told her that they will kill her son if she didn't convert into Islam and agreed to marry the chief, but she continued to refuse and said that herself and her son Neither one of them are afraid of death because they are sick. In fact, she said that time of death is predetermined and her religion is way more important to her than her own or her son's life. So they took away her son and they killed him and they also martyred Baba Banda Singh Bahadur. They thought that she'd be shattered and agreed to convert, but this strong woman stayed firm. Thank the Lord that everyone stayed firm on their faith. She realized that her honor was in danger at this point and she was a prisoner, so she took the dagger and killed herself. We have such strong women in our Sikh history to learn from, yet here we are, falling for expensive gifts and cars and getting attached to our kids, forgetting the difference between right and wrong. We really need to learn from these strong women and learn how to be strong when dealing with difficult situations in life.